New from Fun City Editions is Stranger's Kiss, which was first released in 1983. Uh, my friend Philip sent this to me uh, just because he knows I like Fun City Edition films. This was something I knew nothing about, so I just threw it on to check it out. Um, it's about a filmmaker. A filmmaker having his big breakthrough, making his film, working with his producer, trying to get a um, thing off the ground. Now, he's had to take money from a Hollywood big shot who is bankrolling this film simply because his girlfriend can be the female star in it, which is fine. First he was so nice, so kind, then he... Now we're doing. And as we see them make this kind of uninteresting boxing film romance, you kind of see the characters kind of bond. We see the director and his vision try to come to life. And as we see the sequences of this film coming to life, it slowly started to dawn on me. And a kind of moment of lucidity, I realised that this was Colour's Kiss, Stanley Kubrick's first film. The director, who's never named, is Stanley Kubrick. And this is a fictionalised story of him making Killer's Kiss. Which is wild, the fact that it's not really like front and centre of what this movie is about. And with that in mind, it took on a whole new aspect for me. Something that I was fascinated with because you see the director working with these co-stars, the, the, the woman in this one, uh, played by Victoria Tennant. Uh, who is her partner is bankrolling the production he kind of feels like his two main stars don't have that spark so he starts to encourage an almost love affair between these two um, to try and bring that into the film to get a little bit of tension in there a little bit of uh, sex appeal into the film my director is so manipulative i wish you'd stay with me tonight and it's basically like we have these small characters, or small amount of characters, as they slowly interact, as the director tries to make the film, as the film is being shot, as the personal relationship between our main actress and her boyfriend slowly deteriorates. And for a quick 94 minutes, we just watch these people make a movie. And there is no great ups and downs. There are no great emotional moments. The relationship, although it ticks along, it ticks along. There is a little bit of a speed bump. Although they're making the movie, it ticks along. There's a little bit of a speed bump here and there where they're waiting for money. But they get it. And the film gets made. And it doesn't set the world alight. It's just kind of right there. A baseline movie where nothing particularly great happens within it. No great love affair um, really kicks off. She's in here, Stevie. In here. Just finished cutting it. You and Carol. Good or bad, pin down forever on celluloid, or you'll never grow old. We just have people making a movie, and that is it. And there is something kind of pedestrian about that, but then perversely interesting at the same time, because you put Kubrick into the director's role, you put that first film out there, and to think of all the movies that Kubrick made, they do a fictionalised retelling of Killer's Kiss, where... There was no great hardship in getting the film made. It's such a weird one, but to, in all fairness, I liked the film. It was fine. Peter Coyote plays the director in this one. Um, you could play Novak as uh, Stevie. Uh, Victoria Tennant is Carol. These three people are the kind of main um, characters. There are some other familiar faces that pop up here and there. But for the most part, it's those people working together to create a film. And they do it. And the rest is history. And nothing's really, no great shake-ups happened throughout it. <laughs> Such a weird and unusual film, Stranger's Kiss. I'm really glad to have checked this one out. Because uh, I had a lot of fun with it. Uh, especially once you understand what it's about. And think that maybe puts more meaning onto the film than it would have had without that. But still, well worth checking out if you're a fan of Kubrick or if this kind of idea of a film has got you interested. I'd love to know your thoughts on Stranger's Kiss if you've seen it. Have you ever heard of it before? Because I, I just never encountered this whatsoever in any books or 
any forums or websites or anything that I, I pay attention to. It's complete oddity, unique, interesting, weird. Let me know your thoughts on the film in the comment box below, whether you love it, hate it, whether you're interested in checking it out. Can't wait to read your comments. As always, there is more content up here. You can see more of my stuff in the description box below are links to Patreon, membership program, mandyfilm.com. Always make sure you can support me. Thanks for watching and see you next time.